Ipswich and Huggledug's Christmas Heist. Chapter 2 Hipswich and Huggledug both ran as if their fur was on fire. They scurried over the frost-crisped yard and through the teeth of the combine head, past the barn and the manure pile, and past Rat-a-tat-tat -tat the rat, who was slurping half-bad sludge out of the Blevins' composted eggs. Rat-a-tat-tat -tat yelled, And if you bring the dog on me, Huggledug, so help me, I will... If it was Hipswich gasped Huggledug, breathless and pointing ahead at his friend's fluffy tail feathering across the field behind the old barn. I'll steal your winter stash, Rat-a-tat-tat -tat called after him. Oh, I'll tie you up with your own shoot-off tail, shrieked Huggledug, missing the rat's report as he fled after Hipswitch, who was now out of sight in the far tree line. They bounded by frosty birches, white bark trunks, and through wind-shivered cedars following Daryl the deer's path, a path widened by Hawkeye hair, and again by the Blevins' boy Bobby, who was intent on trapping Hawkeye for the hare's thick winter coat. The trail ran straight as a buck's autumn bolt into the heart of the woods to a thicket of blue spruce in which Hawkeye kept a weekend burrow when he was visiting Bonnie Bunny, his ex and their seventy-eight children. It was into the same thicket that Daryl the deer dodged out of rifle shot during fall-time hunt, and in the center of the grove there stood a particularly tall, bushy, thickly-limbed spruce tree. At its base, Huggledug kept a messy bachelor's burrow, and in its branches, Hipswitch had built a cozy dray, or nest. The animals found that the aroma of spruce did a decent job of deterring predators, the worst of which was Bobby Blevins's with his rifle, traps, dart gun, fart gun, blow-in-the-dark nerf gun. Nobody but critters ventured into the grove, as the critters called it. And that suited the animals just fine. Especially Hipswitch and Huggleduck, and especially after such a narrow escape as they just managed. You'll have to widen the hole. Hipswitch said to Huggledug, as the two raced up the spruce tree to Hipswitch's tray. I'll have to what? Widen the hole and nearly lost you back there. Because I was busy saving you from rabbit old Randolph. Oh, he's a Labrador. He's a dog, Huggledug shrieked. Well, yes, but with a gentle mouth, they say. A gentle what? Randolph once caught one of Hawkeye's quintuplets and carried the wee lad inside his mouth from the barn to the woods. Huggledug gulped. Mm. Did Randolph eat him? No, said Hipswitch. He caught sight of Hawkeye and dropped the baby bunny so he could bark. You're full of needles and bush slush. Huggledug pointed to an orange plastic ribbon fluttering on a nearby branch. Decorating the tree, are you? Well, could be Cardinal Carl. He's always picking up bits of colored junk. But what if it's Bobby Blevins's? Look at how it's knotted to the branch. Oh, Bobby's the least of our worries. Aren't you worried about food, though? said Huggledug. I told you about the Christmas nuts, did I? Huggledug crossed his paws and sat on his haunches. Yes, that every year Mrs. Blevins's gets Mr. Blevins's a bowl full of nuts. And that he throws half of them out after New Year's? Huggledug shivered with hunger. Ugh, yes. You mentioned that. So we can snatch those in the next go, said Hipswitch, after you widen the hole to the pipe. And if they hook the pipe to the sump pump like they have planned? Hipswitch shrugged. Squirrels can swim as well as rats, can't they? I'm a chipmunk, not a beaver. Speaking of beavers, we could enlist Barney. Have you ever seen that beaver run? Hipswitch thought of Barney's waddle. Barney Baloney, they called him, after the great tubes of ground meat the Blevins' kid ate by the ketchup-soaked slice. Maybe the weasels, then? said Hipswitch. Or we could go for the winter feed in the barn, said Huggledug. Hipswitch spit on the ground. <laughs> Seriously? Cow feed? When there are walnuts inside? Walnuts, I tell you. The size of my... No cheeks, Huggleduck sighed. We're going back to the house then, for nuts, for Christmas nuts, my bucktooth friend. Tonight, Huggleduck sighed. Tonight, when the Christmas lights go off. Just then, they heard a great grunt beyond the thicket. 
<gasps> What's that? Hissed Hipswitch. <gasps> Came the great grunting sound closer now. The spruce tree shivered, and the critters heard chomping. <laughs> Chomping, chewing, the trees shaking. To my burrow, cried Hugglegug. But the next tree over snapped back and whiplashed into their tree, almost knocking them like rodent pinballs across the frozen snow. But they held tight, both of them shroven, which is bush and for that state that small furry animals fall into when they are shocked and frozen in fear. They stood absolutely still, still as stone, blank-eyed, waiting. Shrill then. A dark thought raced through Huggledug's mind. This is it. No more nuts, thought Hipswitch. And for the first time in a long time, Hipswitch embraced Huggledug, and Huggledug nosed kissed Hipswitch. And then the next tree over sneezed, the giant horse size. Was you? Did that tree sneeze, said Huggledug. Hipswitch wiped snot from his fur. It's this blasted head cold, snorted a deep grunting voice. Ah, 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 Huggledug and Hipswitch cringed as they were blasted with another tree shaking spruce gum smelling moose sneeze. A tail be sorry, old wax, snapped the moose. The giant head thrust through the spruce grove. Are you Morley the moose? said Huggledug. Morley's gone, Noah said the moose. Aunt Mildred's man got mounted and she needs a bull around, she said, so Molly's gone north. And you are? Well, Micah Simon's Otto the Third. Gesundheit? The moose blinked his bleary eyes. Are you Wodens? I'm Huggledug, said Hipswitch, and this is Hipswitch. I'm Huggledug, said the chipmunk, and this is Hipswitch. A squirrel? said Micah the moose. A moose who knows his stripes, said Hipswitch, preening his tail. You look like a wax, said Micah. You both kind of look like wats. And you? Huggledug bristled at being compared to the likes of Rat-a-tat-tat. You look like the son of a workhorse and a dairy cow. My mother was a cow, Micah sniffed. Do you think, said Hipswitch. Huggledug white moose snot from his cheeks. What? The mica here is a giant gift from God, shouted Hipswitch. Him? Huggledug pointed at the moose. Well, that's the nicest thing that a wat's ever said to me, sniffed Micah. Hipswitch turned to the enormous, sniveling moose. How would you like to help us steal a huge sack of Christmas nuts? Will there be cowards? Hipswitch rubbed his paws together. Carrots galore, my hulking friends. There will be carrots galore.